Greetings everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is on the Roland TD50KV2. Let's go. So let me first tell you what you get out of the box when you get the Roland TD50 KV2. 10 inch rack tom pads, 12 inch floor tom pads, a full size 14 inch digital snare, and I'll get into what the digital means here in just a second. You get two of Roland's new CY16T crash cymbals, and the T stands for thin. They're about 40% thinner than their old version, which is really cool because it feels good in your hands. When you crash the cymbal, you're not gonna get any vibration up your arms or in your wrist. You can actually see the cymbal bends a little bit, so it feels a little bit more like a regular acoustic cymbal. A big 18 inch digital ride cymbal and the brand new VH14D digital hi-hat, which is really cool. It acts like a regular hi-hat. It's a two piece system and the digital feature with all of these pads, the ride, snare and hi-hat, just make these electronic drums act a little bit more like acoustic drums. Let me show you how. When you play an acoustic snare drum, if you wanna get a side stick sound, you put your hand on the drum and hit the rim. But in the old days of electronic drums, there was only so many sensors they could put in the pads. So if you wanted a side stick sound, you would have to put that on the rim and sort of play it like this. But now since there's a lot more sensors in these drums, they act more like acoustic drums, so when you hit the rim, it's gonna sound like the rim of the acoustic drum. The snare is like the snare when you hit the pad. And then when you put your hand, this is where the digital part comes in, when you put your hand on the pad, it grounds out the drum and turns the rim sound that's on the rim into the side stick sound. Rim sound. So it acts just like an acoustic drum, which is super cool. Now the digital part of the ride cymbal gives you a lot of sensors around the cymbal to act more like a regular cymbal because you get lots of body and depth in the sound. You get the edge, the meat of the cymbal, the body of it right here. And it's really sensitive. You can hear the soft strokes and the loud strokes and of course a great bell sound. And I'll show you with a couple of the presets in the TD50X here in just a minute, how you get three totally separate sounds on one cymbal. Now those same digital properties make it so the hi-hat cymbals act like acoustic hi-hats. When I hit the pad, the cymbal will ring. And if I put my hand on top of the hi-hat pad here, the sound will just dissipate. Check it out. That's the exact same thing that would happen if you hit an acoustic cymbal and you put your hand on it, it would dissipate the sound. So now you can play electronic hi-hats more like acoustic hi-hats. Sort of mutes them if you wanna do like a jazz pattern like that. Nice decay in the samples. Just a super cool, really high-end piece of electronic gear right there. All of the pads have Roland's high-end mesh drum heads. Now the snare drum, the digital pad has a three-layer mesh head and the toms have a two-layer mesh head. Just feels really good when you play them. You can tune them up high to get lots of rebound. You can tune them down low to have more of a gushy or softer feel. Wherever you wanna take the feel of these drums, you can easily with these pads. And last but not least is this kick drum, an 18-inch wood shelled, it's a birch wood shell kick drum. A very nice feeling pad that's small, but definitely big enough for a double pedal. I have my Pearl Eliminator pedal right here, and both beaters are hitting right in a nice even spot on the pad. You can bury the beater into this pad. It feels sort of like an acoustic drum, where you loosen the head and you bury the beater in there when you wanna get a nice bunch of attack. It feels good, but if you're the kind of player where you like to have the beater come back off the head when you hit it, you can easily do that with this kick drum pad as well. I mentioned earlier about this great four poster rack. It's very sturdy and all of the cables go through the post so you have a nice clean look when you set up this kit on any stage or in the studio. 
Also, it's worth mentioning that the hardware, the symbol holders have a nice ball joint up here. So you can place the pad wherever you want. It's very easily adjustable. Same goes for the tom holders. Nice ball joint in there. Move the pad wherever you want and it holds the drum sturdy and never moves. Now, when you look at pictures of this kit on Sweetwater's site, you might see it set up in a couple of different ways, but I think that's really cool because you can adjust this kit however you want to. You might see the tom pads mounted inside the tubes right here instead of the cymbals. You could totally do that and put the cymbals on the rack. Adjust it however you want. You could totally customize the kit feel to you. The only pieces of hardware you don't get in the box are your kick drum pedal, your snare drum stand, and your hi-hat stand. All right, now with all that being said, the best part about this kit is the way it sounds. So many great sounds. There's over 900 sounds in the TD-50X. Let me take you through some of the highlights right now. Here we go.
Now, hopefully you can tell by just that small example of sounds how cool and how great sounding the TD50X module is. Like I mentioned, over 900 internal sounds and everything you can think of, rock sounds, funk sounds, gospel sounds, blues sounds, of course, electronic sounds and percussion sounds. And you could manipulate these sounds in real time really fast. Now, if you saw me playing, there's a fader over here called Ambience. This is one of the cool new highlights in the TD50X. They spent a lot of time sampling not just the great drum sounds, but also the rooms that they were in when they sampled these sounds. So what you can do while you're playing is adjust the amount of room ambience you have in that kit. So check this out. The ambience fader is all the way down to zero and I picked the kit called Skylight. It's number seven here in the presets. It's a nice dry sound. Here we go. You can hear the drum shell ringing, right? But you don't hear any kind of reverb or ambience or room sound. I'll turn the fader all the way up. So I added a little bit of high end and you can definitely hear some of that, that sound, the sound of the room. Now every kit's gonna have more or less depending on what you want and you can also adjust the amount of ambience very easily. I'll show you in just a second. Let me quickly take you through a couple other kits to give you a demonstration of the ambience. All right, I picked a kit called Hard Rock. Let's get our rock on here. Here's the snare by itself, no ambience. Ambience all the way up. I mean, it widens out the sound. I have these great Roland PM100 speakers pointing at me. You could do this on headphones as well. You can really hear the room sort of open up. All of a sudden you're in a big stereo space. You hear the room ambience all the way around you. It's a really nice feature. Let's try one more. This one's called Loud Rock. Now to me, it sounds like it has a little bit of a gated reverb effect on it because there's a ton of effects inside the TD50X as well. But let's put the ambience all the way up and hear what it sounds like. Again, it just widens out the sound and makes it much bigger. Now that's just one cool new feature with the TD50X, but let me show you how you can manipulate the sound quite easily without having to menu dive. Say you wanna tune the snare a little bit higher or a little bit lower. All you do is hit the instrument button. That'll take you to any drum that you hit. The picture changes no matter what pad you hit on the set. So there's the snare, tom, cymbal, and so on. You have options down at the bottom right here Tuning is at minus 10, so they've, they've already tuned the snare drum down a little bit, but let's go way low. Yeah, have it way high. Again, it's so easy to adjust the sound where, to wherever you want it to go. Also a very cool feature is the muffling option, which is right next to tuning. You know, muffling is when you put moon gel or tape or anything on a drum to deaden the sound a little bit. Well, they gave you lots of options in the TD50X. Right now it's on tape one, so there's a little bit of muffling, but let's put a lot. Let me turn the ambience down too. So it's really dead. No muffling at all. All the muffling. So again, just super easy to customize the sounds very quickly with the TD50X. Now I mentioned earlier that you can also adjust this ambience, this new feature of ambience. Just hit the ambience button. You have some options there, overheads and room. So here's the sound with the overhead at the preset setting. It's at minus three. All you do is turn the jog wheel up or down and hear the difference. So let's go up first. This is more overhead sound. Sort of brightens up the sound a little bit. Let me take it back to where it was at minus three. Use the arrow down to go to the room sound. Now you'll really hear how the expanse gets bigger. We'll go up, it's at zero right now. Now let's go all the way down to minus. Now it's really tight and compressed sounding. And that might be what you want. But whatever you do, whatever change you make, I'll go all the way to the extreme on both of these. 
Now, when you pull the slider down, it adjusts those sounds in total. Check it out. So right there, you've adjusted the sound. You have it right there on the fader. Again, super easy to manipulate the sounds in the TD-50X. It's really cool. Now, this is not a deep dive video into the TD-50X. I'm going to make a separate video in the future here where I get into all the nitty gritty details because you can really customize everything from the ground up. But for now, let me take you through a few more of the highlights. Let's start with the back of the box here, the ins and outs. The TD-50X is expandable. You see all these pads here, but there's also more trigger inputs for more pads. So you can make this kit even bigger if you want. Direct outs. One of the coolest things about the TD-50X is they give you direct outs so you can send a separate dry mix to the front of house engineer where he can manipulate the drums however he wants to, or her, he or her, and then you can have your own mix with all your effects and all make the drums as wet or as dry as you want, and it's totally separate from the front of house. You have balance outputs, XLR and quarter inch. You have your three digital inputs for your ride, snare, and hi-hat. You can add your own samples into the TD-50X and merge them with the preset samples or make your own kits from your own samples totally with an SD card slot right here on the left. So with the 900 sounds, over 900 sounds that are in the box already and your own samples, really it's endless to the amount of sounds you could have inside the TD-50X brain. Another great feature about this box is the MIDI over USB. There's a USB plug right on the side of the box here. Connect this to your computer and whatever DAW you're using. You could play the V drums with some great other virtual instruments or you can use the TD-50X as a 32 in and out digital interface. So you can record every drum separately into your DAW, just like an acoustic drum kit. The last couple of things to show you, there's a couple of mix in inputs. So you can plug in your phone or anything else like that. So you can play along to your favorite songs, headphone jacks, and there you go. There's a great click track in the TD-50X with lots of sound options, some really cool coaching features. There's also a song button where you can put in your own songs. There's internal songs as well to play along to, but with that SD card, you can also put in your own songs and play along to them that way if you want to. And there you go, that's about it for this video. A great flagship electronic drum kit from Roland, the TD-50 KV2. It's just fantastic, great feeling pads, a really powerful brain with tons of amazing sounds in it the ambience feature, the digital ride, snare, and hi-hat. If you're looking to upgrade or looking to get a really professional drum kit that can be used in any studio on any live stage and just to have a lot of fun with these great sounds. Also, if you want to play this in your apartment or you're in a home where you need to be quiet, these drums don't make much noise at all when you're not playing them through speakers. If you're just playing through headphones, you barely hear anything at all. So lots of great options here with this drum kit. And it's, again, the best part about it is it's super fun to play. If you want any more information about this TD-50 kit, any other Roland product, just talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer, and I'm gonna have some more fun and play some more drums. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click right here for more videos just like this one or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.